everyone. This is Melissa from Customer Care at Potomac Beads. And this is Jade, social media at Potomac Beads. And today we're going to start a new series called the Zodiac Constellation Pendant Series. This series is going to teach you new wire work or simple wire working techniques so that you can go through the whole entire year, make your constellation for your zodiac sign while learning new skills. Um, wire working is something that I've come to love, and you have myself and Jade, who is a new wire worker. I'm a new beater in general, so this is going to be a lot for me to like just understand basic techniques. Yeah, so we are going to guide you through this journey, so let's get started. So as we start off the year, we're going to start with our Capricorn friends. Um, if you are not overworking yourself as a Capricorn, which they tend to do, this will be the perfect wire working project for you. You are not alone. You have celebrity friends who are Capricorns, which include <laughs> Regina King, Kit Harrington, uh, Denzel Washington, I think is one. So, yeah. I'm not a Capricorn. We won't get to me later until later in the year, but <laughs> hey, okay, Capricorns. Um, here is our Capricorn design, wire work design. Um, they say that it is. A goat, a goat or fish? I don't know. Yeah, like the uh, the symbol for the Capricorns themselves is a like the front half of a goat and the back end of a fish to represent how they can like overcome giant obstacles going from like the depths of life to the highest heights. Well, Capricorns, may this be you have a lot to live up to. Yeah. They do, they do. So let's get started. Um, what we're gonna do for our uh, first wire working series is we're gonna introduce our tools. So for simple wire working tools, um, we're just gonna use three. We have our cutters, we have our round nose pliers, and we have our needle nose or flat pliers there. And we'll use each of these, um, but the main two tools that we're gonna use are our round nose and our cutters. Um, we do not suggest that you cut your wire with scissors. The cutters do work way better. All right, so to get started with our pendant design, we are going to cut five inches of, this is a 22 gauge Potomac wire. So let's pull that in here. And then we are going to wrap with a 28 gauge wire. If you're new to wire, the way that you can tell the difference between wires is, do you know? I don't. Okay, it's the lower the number, the thicker the wire. So your 22 gauge is going to be a thicker wire. As you go up, a 28 gauge is going to be a super thin wire. Normally, um, with ring projects and things like that, I normally stick to like a 20. It's a, it's a good standard, but this one we're gonna do a 22 um, as we start out. To start this project, we have um, made it a little bit simpler because we are introducing new skills to you. We have created patterns for you, which will, are linked below that you'll be able to print out and use to follow along with us. So um, look in your links below to print the patterns out before you get into the tutorial. To start, we are going to cut our wire to our desired lengths, which is lined out in our pattern. So um, we have our five inches of the 22 gauge and our 28 gauge wire in um, a 24 inch strand. So um, the beads that I chose to use are, if you can see them right here, they are of a more neutral tone. So if you're not flashy like me, I mean, I have my, my jean shirt on today. Um, <laughs> I used a, an 11 and an eight in um, galvanized silver and jade used. I have a uh, Potomac Crystal Rondell's uh, 1.5 in dark red coral. So that way, if you're more wanting like a, a birthstone touch to it, that is uh, January's birthstone is garnet. garnet. So this is a pretty, pretty close match. So um, you can use various beads in these designs. We do not suggest that you go over an eight OCB just because it will change the amount that you will need to wrap to make the design work. So you can go up to an 80 bead, um, maybe one size bigger in the rondelles or rounds. Um, so let's get, let's get to wrapping. So as we start this project, we're going to turn to our pattern here that you can print below um, as our guide as to where the beads are going to go. 
as we posted this as a teaser to social media, most people thought it was Morse code, which it was. It's a really good guess. It was a good guess. I'll give it to you. It was a, a good, good guess. guess. Interesting idea. Yes. Which, I mean, we can do for the future. Yeah. So what you'll do is you'll line your five inch piece of your 22 gauge wire. So if you want to place that up there, we're going to guide Jade through. So you'll see that we have made the pattern so that it fits that piece of wire pretty exact. Um, each of these little dashes represent a bead that we'll be using. Depending on the beads that you want to use, um, you will see that Jade is using all one side bead, size bead, and I am using two different size beads because those beads represent the stars in the constellation. The stars. <laughs> so as we get started, what we're going to do is we have left enough room outside of where we need to wrap so that you're able to nicely hold on to this 22 gauge wire. So to start our wrap, the thing that I suggest is to take your 28 gauge and your 22 gauge and just kind of pinch the ends together. Yeah, perfect. Oh, gotta even it up here. All right. There you go. You wanna scoot over a little? Yeah, there you go. Scooch. Okay, as we start to wrap, I wrap away from myself because I find it to be easier. As we wrap, you're just gonna just go around and around and around. The spaces on this pattern represent how much we need to wrap between each bead. So we're going to wrap until we get to that first little dash, which is going to be where we add our first bead. All right, as we start wrapping for that first bead to be added, you're going to notice that maybe your wire wrapping isn't as tight as you would like. So if you take a look here, you'll be able, oh, let me get above Jade's head here, <laughs> that the wire wrapping is really tight. However, if you are a new wire wrapper, it might look something like this, oh, which I don't think you can kind of see it very well. However, fear not, this 28 gauge wire, which we're working with, is really pliable. So hold your finger towards the bottom of your project and just push down and it should all come together. If you are not able to do that with your fingers, you can use a flat nose. Yeah, let me try those. And then just work your project down to be perfect. Working better? Oh yeah, that's there a lot go. better. So that way your, nice. your coils are really nice and tight. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, it never does the first time. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. So now that we've gotten to this point, it is sometimes okay to go ahead, because we're not gonna use this little bit of wire on the end. You can take your round nose flyers Oh, these ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to put the wire in here at the top and just put it flush so you can't feel the wire, but it's definitely there. Okay, so my smaller wire here is a little longer than okay, my main right. wire. Okay, that's all right. So what we can do is we can just pull this wire down here. Oh, and just rewrap it. There we go. Bit. And oh, yeah, okay. you'll be able to rewrap it. But the reason we're going to do this, as I'll show you, is this wire moves so that it doesn't just slide right off your project. We're just gonna make a little loop at the top so your wire doesn't go flying off. And there we go, that's all we're doing here. See that little loop there. Okay. And that just prevents that wire from coming off as we work. There we go. All right. You got it? Yeah, all right. Go. So go ahead and measure your little length there. Are we there? We got. Do a loop. Yep. All right. I think we're... yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we're gonna add our first speed. So um, you'll notice that on these ticks, there are the bigger ticks and the smaller ticks. Bigger ticks represent our bigger stars, like we said before, and the smaller ones represent our smaller stars. So we are adding a big star on, or Jade has decided to do all one. It's definitely a personal preference. You're gonna add that bead on. And as you're starting out, the easiest way to move on from bead is to hold that bead in place and then just continue to wire wrap over. So you'll be able to see that little silver silver piece of wire over top of your bead. If you are a little more skilled and it, your hole is big enough, you can feed 
that wire through your hole so that it does disappear and you don't see it. Oh, nice. That's kind of neat. Yeah, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and wire wrap over top of it. And then we're just going to wire wrap until our next little tick there on the paper. So we'll do a couple more. So for people who are going on the outside of their bead, I have a hard time keeping it like tight on the outside of the bead. Is okay. there any like tips or tricks? So that's why I hold my bead really tight onto my um, my uh, wire there. And mm -hmm. I'll just add a little bead just to show you because we can always take it off. So as you add that bead on, bead on whoop, to what am I doing? We'll just go this way. As you add that bead onto your wire, like I said, we're just going to pull it tight just like that. So you're holding onto your bead and as you be just pull tight and it doesn't have to necessarily start close, but you're just going to push it right into that bead. Okay. So um, the better you get at it, the easier and the tighter that it'll get. But the key is, is to kind of act like that bead is the um, peanut butter between, between your two slices of bread. So you're okay. just going to squish it together. <laughs> so you'll get there. Yeah, so squish real tight, and that will hold that bead secure and tight so that it doesn't move around on you. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so we've gotten to our next one. Yep. So Jay's going to add another bead on to her constellation pendant. And as we continue to wire wrap, you're going to stop at each tick and add your bead, whether it be a big one or a little one. You're going to have three big beads. The rest will be smaller beads unless you've chosen to continue with the exact same size. Now say as a new wire wrapper, you got really excited and maybe you cut your 24 inch strand of wire just a little too short. And now you're panicking because you're at the end and you're not sure what to do. Well, we have that for you as well. So if you look at Jade's project right here, she has gotten to the point where her wire is now just a little teeny piece there. What we're going to do is teach you how to add wire into this project. So if we look at how this lines up within our pattern, you're going to see that Jade still has several beads to go. The nice part about Jade's project here is she's ready to add another bead. So we're going to have Jade add that bead. Okay. Oh, come on. It's okay, girl. Tiny bead holes. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so now she has that bead on and we're gonna start almost like we did the project. So you're gonna take that tw new 28 gauge piece. You're going to, um, you can hold it this way. I am okay. right-handed, so I flip. You're gonna give yourself a little bit of a tail of that 28 gauge because there's no need to go super close in. So give yourself a little bit of, of, of a uh, holding piece. You're just gonna hold it with that like thumb that you have right here. You can give yourself a longer piece too. Longer piece? Yeah, okay. as much long as you need. That looks perfect. And then start to wrap just like you were. Okay. So hold the bead in place. Yeah. So, and, then... um, and yep, there you go. So she's going to wrap that. And then that will start a whole new piece. Um, once we've gotten that piece secure, I'll show you how to make it so that no one will ever even know. So now that she, it's wrapped on there, we see that we have that little tail there. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your wire cutters. Okay. And the key to the wire cutters is always to try to get as flush as possible with that. So you're going to um, have this little piece. Mm -hmm. You're going to go right up to your coil Oops, with around. your, yeah, <laughs> with your flat in there. Just take a little snip and then take a little snip of your other little piece that we kind of left off at. And so push it up tight against your bead. There we go. And then your project should look like there was never a gap in there. If you do have just a little bit of wire sticking up, you can take your flat nose or even your round nose pliers and kind of just roll that. You don't want to squish it, but just take a little roll and roll that piece of wire down so that it tucks in nicely into your project. Can you get it there? No. <laughs> so what I would do is instead of coming from the side, mm -hmm. I would come this way and go. Oh, and just squeeze that. And just round, okay. round it down just like that. Gotcha. Okay. So it's just instead of coming from your side, you're going to come this way and round down. So you don't want to squeeze hard, but just enough that it, it rounds that end. Awesome. 
Thank you. All right, now that we've been wrapping folds and we've reached the end, it's time to get rid of that little piece of the 28 gauge. So you're going to do the exact same thing that we did in cutting those little pieces off when we added the wire in, and you're gonna go ahead and go flush to your uh, project and snip. Look how easy that is. Okay, so now that we've followed our pattern, did you think that was pretty good? Yeah. All right, so hopefully that pattern makes it easier. We are going to move on to the next step. So you can set this pattern aside and we're gonna to come to this pattern, which will be a lot, yours is a lot nicer than ours. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we are going to use this as a guide to make the pattern of our constellation. So if you are really great at bending wire, you can just leave that right as it is. But if you need a little assistance and you have something that you can push this into, the pattern into, um, you can take little push pins. I would think um, not necessarily like the big ones with the big ends, but the ones with the little balls that you would use for sewing. Mm. You can just kind of um, at each little star point of the big ones where you notice that you're going to wrap to a different place, you can push those little push pins in so you know where you're going to turn. Um, so what you're going to do is you are going to line your first bead up with your pattern. So you're gonna start with the two big bead ends. All right, so I have two big bead ends. If you use all the same, um, you're going to go from, yep, that end right there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you this pattern. Okay. And we're going to do a little wrapperoo here. All right, so. All right, let's do this. All right, so you're gonna line this up here. Okay. Okay. All right. So now that your beads are lined up, you know that you have to take and bend there. So you're going to take those flat nosed, you're going to put it right on that little point, and you're going to bend up. There you go. And don't worry if your lines aren't straight. The great thing about wire is that it can be manipulated afterwards. We just want to get the general shape so that we can wrap it and then um, really secure that design in. So if it's not perfect right off the bat, do not panic. It can be fixed. Okay, so now we're going to go to our next big point up top. Bend this way. And bend. Oh, no. Okay, there we okay, go. There you go. All right. All right. And then you're going to go to your middle point there. My big fingers are in the way there. <laughs> and you're just gonna push up towards the okay. push up. Okay. There you go. All right, once Jade gets a push up, we'll show you kind of where we're at. Okay. Okay, so we we're basic we're here. Shape. <laughs> we're here. Okay, so our basic shape. So you can kind of see that we're here. I'm gonna move this pattern away so you can see just a little bit better. We have these two beads that we started here at the top. If you had done sizing of beads, they're gonna be your two big beads that you started with. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna take this end piece and we're just going to wrap around that little section. So if we were doing it here, one more time, you're going to line your beads up, you're going to push up. And like I said, if you are, you know, free spirit like I am in this wire working game, <laughs> you can just go for it. So here we are. I have this tail of wire here left. I'm gonna take that tail of wire and I'm going to wind it between these two beads, which is going to give me my little attachment hook there. So you can do that by taking your, I'm gonna borrow these okay. from Jade. You can do that by just coming here and winding around. So here we are. So we've winded around there. Don't worry, we can clip this part off with our wire cutters. Which Jade's gotten real good at that part. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, that was a flyer. <laughs> Cover your face as you're clipping. You don't want to like get yourself. And then see how we have this little, I guess this would be the fishtail part, right? Maybe. I don't, I don't know, goat's head fish. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is we, can now make almost like what we would do with an eye pin um, and you can find those in our better beaters you're going to take your round nose pliers here you're going to come a little ways down and this one it doesn't necessarily have 
to be flush. You just need to kind of find what size hole that you would like your pendant to be. So I kind of go towards the smaller end of my round nose. You will then um, bend, come bring this around, and it is going to be a little bit thicker because we have um, we have spun a lot of wire around those two. So you're going to see that we have our hole there like that. You can hold this now and then we're just going to let me find my little end there. You can just wrap that around. Now you can use your hand or your pliers, whichever works best. And so you're going to come with a little design that looks like that. And you're like, that doesn't look like my constellation. That's where it comes into getting your um, lines just right. So if you want to, we can use that one. And I'm yeah. going to give you these flat nose pliers. And I just want you to line your beads up. And you're going to um, make that design a little bit more crisp and clear. I guess we would do that by bringing this one down a little bit. Yeah, that's not. And that's where it, that is where it's nice to like kind of pin that down, um, so that your pattern doesn't move around on you. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you kind of pull that one up, and then once you get that shape, then you can kind of push them so they're nice and straight. So there you go. I'm bring this one down a little bit sharper. I feel. Yeah. Okay. This one. Hmm. Oh my. You're okay. I've deflated the <laughs> constellation. Melissa. Like I said, it's not a big deal if you don't get it. Um, this is all about practice. Probably won't make perfect, but it makes creativity. It's a learning process. It is. You should have seen me when I first started. I was wire working my hair into projects. I was gluing <laughs> stuff to me. Like I've come a I've come a long way. A long way. Like, I don't know if you know who Brene Brown is, but if you do, then you know what an FFT is. I can't say it here because it does have some language, but Yeah. It's an so FFT. look. There there we go. So here's what our what we were going for. Here's where we are as a brand new wire worker. So we're close. As you um, get a little bit better with your tools, you can come in with your flat nose tools and just kind of straighten things out here a little bit. I'm tossing it around. Straighten things out here just a little bit. So you'll just kind of push in between that little wire oh, okay. to straighten your ends out. This has a little bit of a divot here so we can kind of um, bump out a little and then bring back in. And this is one of those things where you just kind of flatten everything out. And then we'll flatten this side out. We are almost home free. Or home Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, the more you do this, the better you'll get. But there we are. We have made our Capricorn constellation. Whoop, whoop. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us in our first of the series of Zodiac Constellation Pendants. If you need supplies, please feel free to click the links below to direct you to potomacbeads.com. And then be sure to subscribe so that way you can see when your Zodiac Pendant comes out when your month comes up. Have a great day! Bye!